y'all. How are you all doing? To, this is actually going to be a snack recipe. So snack is the three day holidays are coming up. So kids are going to be home and more often. So I thought I'll make some snack for them. So for this, I'm going to be making a tea time snack, which is called paripoda. Paripu means lentil or uh, tur dal, whichever one you want to name it. This is tur dal, one cup soaked for two hours. So that is this and drained. And I'm going to be using some curry leaves, fresh curry leaves, green, ch uh, green chilies, um, cuts, diced, um, some ginger and a red onion. So this is depending on how spicy you want it, you can add more or less of this. And in order to add a little bit more kick to it for the adult version, I'm going to be putting, crushing these after um, maybe ten, five of these are done. I'll be crushing them in adding them in that as well. So without further ado, let's get our, you'll need a, a grinder for this. So what we're gonna do is, this is an Indian grinder. I don't know if you can do this on a food processor, but you can try. So this is one cup of tur dal, goes all of it in. I'm gonna be mixing it into a large mixing bowl. So let's grind this. Let's create the sides of the mixer or grinder, which you're using. If you feel this is not grinding well, you could add a tablespoon of water, but not more than that because we don't want it so watery. This is a thick, the uh, wetness from the tur dal itself will grind it. Okay. It's okay to get a few bite-sized pieces in there to the tur dal. We don't want all of that to be ground to a fine paste. So look at this. You can see, still see the form shape of this. So while we are, this is actually going to be deep fried. So if you have a deep fryer, perfect for that. I'm going to start my um, stove, get the oil heating up. In the meantime, dump all our tur dal that we ground into a large mixing bowl. This will easily feed six member family at tea time. That would be perfect. So to this mixture, I'm going to add this um, ginger that is diced up. That's like I said, this is according to your spice level. That's one spoonful of um, ginger. And this is about three spoonful of onion diced. Into that goes our green chili, according to your spice. Again, this, there's no, just give it a little spice in us. That's all we need. To this mixture, I'm going to be adding a few curry leaves, fresh curry leaves. Just tear them apart. Sprinkle on the. Now I'm going to add salt to taste. Okay, and there you go. I haven't mixed anything yet. Now the kids don't like it too spicy. So, but my husband do like it spicy. When you get it in your palm of your hand, it has to be round and it has to be have that small dome at the top. So that's what we're looking for. Um, like I mentioned, the kids don't like it too spicy but he does so eventually i'll be adding a couple of these red chilies in his he likes the spicy so i'm making it for him too so we, let's give it a good mix and head on over to our oil you have you gotta have a nice um strain already lined with a paper towel so that excess oil can drain out this is perfect so okay now that you can see, it has mixed well. So when you form a dough or a bowl, see, it's holding its shape without, I didn't add any water to this while we were grinding it, right? So depending on the how big your balls are, how big you make it, you can make a yay size or you can make a yay size, you know, it, that's all up to you. The bigger, the smaller number in quantity you will get. So. Put that into mind and let's actually head on over to our oil okay checking if our oil is ready 
see it comes right up so that is ready to go just going to take drain that from the oil so it doesn't burn I used to cater and this was one of the moving items for mine okay so into the your palm of your hands and just press it like ever so lightly right and you get that perfect round get that now if you have too much water content in this it will actually split open in the oil so that's why I reduce the water the quantity of water that I used to mix or grind and ever so lightly drop it into the oil now we're going to lower the heat to medium so that evenly cooks inside and outside we're looking for a nice golden color Again, just put it in the uh, palm, middle of your palm and press it down, you'll get the shape. Take a bowl, take a bowl into the palm, press it down, make it nice round and drop it in the oil. There you have it, our easy paripura is ready, lentil vada. Um, I was able to make 14 out of them. So when you make the patties, you make sure that it is not too thick, otherwise the, it's harder to cook inside. So first, initially when I had the oil, it was at high, and then as soon as I dropped it, I uh, maybe 10, 15 seconds later, I reduced the heat to medium, and then I let it cook thoroughly inside and then making sure that that this golden color this golden brown uh, color is what I was looking at and I, I was able to achieve it so follow the instructions just like I've mentioned it's an easy recipe everybody in your family will love it and you you'll be a hero for them and to serve it the best thing is I actually I can't have any milk so I actually go with black coffee and a voila right now if you want it spicy just bite on one of those red chilies but this is lovely you want to see it how crunchy this is Ooh, see that mm-hmm 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 absolutely worth it definitely try it out i hope to hear from you stay tuned for more videos on creative tv thank you